The next uh, uh, professor, uh, president of AECT, uh, president-elect, will address the congratulatory uh, message for our conference. Please, uh, Professor and President uh, Childress, uh, while he's coming up to the... Uh, uh, and then, and I will uh, introduce uh, him a little bit. Uh, uh, he's a professor and chair of the Instructional Design and Technology Department in the Teachers College at Emporia State University, where he directs an online Master of Science program in Instructional uh, Multimedia Design, oh, I, I'm sorry, Science program in Instructional Design and Technology. He teaches courses in Instructional Design and Technology, Multimedia Design, and Distance and Online Learning. Uh, let me see. In 2007, he received the Imperial State University Teachers College Award for Excellence in Scholarly Activity. Uh, it's a wonderful award. <laughs> Please give me a big hand. <laughs> uh, good morning. Uh, I extend my greetings on behalf of the Association for Educational Communications and Technology, AECT, and more specifically uh, for AECT President Barbara Lockheed. Uh, AECT President-elect Anna Donaldson, AECT past president with, I, I know you all are familiar, uh, Mike Spector, and AECT executive director uh, Philip Harris. Uh, the Korean Society for Education Technology, KSET, is AECT's strongest international affiliate, and we're really proud to have been able to build such a strong relationship. Each year, AECT's Partnership with KSET provides many enriching experiences for our organization. Last year at our 2010 AECT International Convention in Anaheim, we hosted a large delegation of KSET members. KSET members provided well-prepared and outstanding presentations at the convention. And we look forward to seeing many of you at our upcoming AECT International Convention in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, President-elect Anna, Anna Donaldson and her convention planning team have been working hard to make the 2011 International Convention one of the best ever. Uh, Jacksonville, Florida promises to be a really great location and I hope that many of you can attend. As a matter of fact, we put some bookmarks and things at the table and hope you can take one. Uh, after reading over the KSET conference program, I was really impressed by the wealth and variation of the invited sessions. Uh, current concurrent sessions and the roundtable sessions, all tied closely to our convention theme uh, toward the global partnership of educational technology in Asia. Uh, many of the recurring themes of today's conference center around collaboration, change, and globalization. Collabor collaboration, whether at a local level or at a global level, level, is one of the keys to success for any individual or, or organization. In today's world, those who do not collaborate will see only limited success. Uh, yesterday, Dr. Tristan Johnson provided a really timely pre-conference workshop on team-based learning. Uh, as educational technologists, I believe we must really embrace collaborative and team-based methodologies so that we can prepare our learners for tomorrow's challenges. Change is also something that those in our field of educational technology know all too well. As educational technologists, we're continuously bombarded with new hardware, such as the ever-changing landscape of mobile devices and new software applications. Let's face it, that's one of the reasons why we chose to be in the field that we're in. Uh, however, even for us, keeping up with all the new devices and software applications can become tiresome. And these changes impact us not only as individuals, but they impact us our organizations and the path our organizations take. In a few minutes, Dr. Reibeluth will be presenting the keynote address, The Future of Educational Technology, Cardinal Points for Global Partnerships. As I'm sure you're aware, no one in our field knows more about organizational change than Dr. Reibeluth. His extensive research on how to help organizations engage in successful change processes promises to make his keynote address a memorable one. 
Uh, globalization is this conference's most important theme. In today's global society, individuals and organizations that do not have a global vision are destined for failure. Uh, during my presidential candidate speech last year in Anaheim, I envisioned an even closer relationship with international affiliates such as KSET. I've seen firsthand how a strong international affiliates can benefit AECT and how AECT can benefit international affiliates like KSET. Thanks to the work of AECT president, past president Mike Spector and our AECT international division, we've been able to reach not out to more international affiliates and form even stronger ties. I look forward to even more opportunities with our global partners. Like AECT, KSET is a new, unique organization and, and that is one of only a small number of organizations related to instructional design, education technology, media, that includes not only practitioners but also researchers who contribute a wealth of literature to our really diverse field. The world needs organizations such as AACT and KSET to help schools and other institutions make decisions that will impact the future of their students and clients. As with AACT, I challenge KSET to seek increased visibility throughout Korea, Asia, and globally, especially on national and international panels that guide policy related to education technology. I feel that it's critical for organizations like AECT and KSET to have a voice in these conversations and to disseminate and more importantly formulate debates about the many important challenges that face our field. Conferences such as the KSET International Conference provide a critical forum for the discussion and exchange of new ideas related to educational technology and in a broader sense, teaching and learning. I congratulate President and Honorary Chair P. Bae Kim, Vice President and Conference Organizing Chair Jae Sung Chung, Executive Secretary Sari Kim and Young Min Lee, the Program Committee, and the entire Conference Organization Committee for taking on the difficult challenge of planning, organizing, and facilitating this year's conference. In my duties as ACT President-elect for 2011-2012, I will be the lead convention planner for the 2012 ACT convention in Louisville, Kentucky. With the help of my convention planning committee, I hope that I can organize and facilitate a convention experience that lives up to the high standards of this KECT International Conference. I wish to thank KSET for offering the opportunity to speak to you this morning. I hope you all return home from this year's conference renewed, recharged, after sharing your many experiences, renewing your old friendships, meeting new colleagues and friends. Thank you and have a terrific conference.